So you've been thinking about it for a while, maybe you've been thinking about it from when you were young and you feel this calling to fully step into your spiritual abilities, but for whatever reason, you keep putting it off on the back burner. We do this with talking to our spirit guides, with receiving messages from our intuition. We will hide from our life purpose even. It's time to step into your intuition. And in this episode, I'm going to be telling you why now is the time to open your intuition. So stay tuned. Welcome to Spiritual and Ambitious. I'm your host, Whitney McNeil. I'm a certified medium and spiritual teacher, and I help spiritual and ambitious souls just like you live your life purpose through your career and attract abundance by connecting into your intuition and spirit guide. Let's get spiritual and ambitious. Welcome to another episode of the Spiritual and Ambitious Podcast. I'm so happy that you're here and so glad that you're joining me on this Wednesday. Before we get started, we are going to be pulling some Oracle cards from the Messenger of Spirit Oracle deck, but I want to put this bug in your ear. If you've been really wanting to live your purpose and open your intuition and break through your abundance blocks, then you will want to be checking out Intuition Abundance Academy. It's only going to be open for a limited amount of time, and it has been over a year since I last opened this program. It is my transformational program where you're going to be spending eight to 10 weeks really developing your intuition, understanding your purpose, and breaking through the blocks that have been hindering you from doing all of these things. And I truly believe there's three parts to living an abundant life. And one is first, opening your intuition. Two is understanding your life purpose. And three is being open to receiving abundance. And that's what we do inside the program. All right, so here are some cards for you. The first card is the card of the higher self. Your life purpose is calling, hello, hello. If you've been putting it off on the back burner, it's time to stop. So it is saying, We are here. When I say we are here, we generally have one to three life purpose archetypes, and we'll have one primary, then a secondary one, and then a third one. The next card I have here is the card of the seer. And whenever I pull this in any kind of reading, it means, yep, you are seeing things accurately. And it also is a call to develop your clairvoyance and clairaudience. So the way I teach inside of my program is I talk about the seer, the owl, the empath, and the channeler. And the seer is all about clairvoyance. But it takes it a little step further too with this message of what are you seeing for yourself? What are you visioning for yourself? Or are you not visioning anything and just kind of allowing things to fall where they may? This is now your time. And let's talk about it. So why is now the time to open your intuition? Well, number one, we are all going through a massive collective energy shift. The time truly has never been better. We are being shaken up. It almost reminds me of the earthquake that kind of shakes the soil up. And then it's time to reorganize it. This is this place where we're all feeling kind of weird. Some of us are feeling very excited about our new direction, but from most what I've seen and the people that I've worked with, a lot of people are feeling a little bit lost or feeling like, it's like meh. They just don't know exactly what it is that they do want to do anymore. They may have loved what they wanted to do forever. And now things just feel a little bit weird and wonky. So why open your intuition? Because the more that you are open to your intuition, you start receiving the messages from your spirit guides and you are able to trust the next steps of your path, you are getting ready to go through a massive change, if not already. We all are. This can be career up-leveling, complete career shifts, starting new businesses, kind of burning, figuratively, of course, businesses down. It's more so, what am I going to do? And when we are looking for what am I going to do? We oftentimes seek to look for answers outside of ourselves. And really, 
want you to seek answers inside of yourself and with your spirit guides. So this means when you develop your intuition, you receive messages from your spirit guides, you receive messages from your higher self, and you are more in tune with your energy and your body because part of developing your intuition is breaking through blocks of not being able to receive your information from your guides. And side of my program, I talk about, you've got to raise your vibration. You've got to remove fear, ego, anger, and guilt. And the more that we work on removing those things, the higher our vibration is. Thus, we are able to receive. It also means it's time to work on some energetic up-leveling and chakra clearing. Because sometimes we are not receiving messages because our chakras are blocked. Same deal. It is time to cleanse and heal. Regardless, we are all going to be going through the shift and you get to choose. All right. Do I have guidance? Do I have a compass as I'm going through these shifts? Or am I going to choose to stick my head in the sand and not have any kind of guidance through these shifts? It is up to you. And this is one of the reasons why it is so very important. The second reason is a really good one. It's because you incarnated for it. This is your time and you're ready for it. You might feel like you haven't been ready for it for years, especially if you've been feeling this call inside, but you have been putting it on the back burner forever. And a lot of the reasons we put it on the back burner is because we feel like people are going to judge me or a resistance you haven't even put your finger on yet, but most of the time it's from a previous lifetime where you were judged or persecuted because you had these intuitive abilities. This is your choice that you came into this world and it is time for you to collect all the tools that you incarnated with. So no more putting it off. The time is now. You did not choose to come back to earth to delay your cycle any further. You chose to come back to earth to say you are ready and to do this. One of the reasons that we keep incarnating over and over is because we will not learn certain lessons. So if we incarnated before with these intuitive abilities and we're here to help the world with our spiritual abilities and we got stopped or blocked, guess what? We are going to incarnate again so that we can fulfill that part of our contract and live out part of that life. Now, of course, we've had previous lifetimes where we have lived with these intuitive abilities, but you have chosen to come back to do it again. So if you're listening to this podcast, that means you and you are ready for it. It is time. Now is your time. But we also have a few more reasons why right now is so important. So stay with me. As a professional psychic medium, I've done tens of thousands of readings, but I felt a call to move more fully into teaching intuition. But I still get so many requests about doing readings. So while I don't do readings anymore, I have brought in some very trusted colleagues who are now available for live one-hour readings on Zoom. If you would like to book your psychic medium reading, go to messengerofspirit.com forward slash appointments to see our available readers and schedule your Zoom reading today. Welcome back. I hope to see you inside of Intuition Abundance Academy. So we're talking about Why is now the time to open your intuition? And one of the reasons is because you are here to live your purpose and there's no more wasting time to live it. Like you're done. You can't waste any more time. I know that you feel this big push, this big feeling where it's almost like you can't waste another second doing something that you don't love. We're all feeling it. And if you continue down that route, I like to say your spirit guides give you these little feelings or signs and symbols. And then if you don't listen, they kind of hit you over the head with a you know, baseball bat. And then if that doesn't work, then you kind of end up hitting the brick wall. Now, that's really not your spirit guides. It's your spirit guides warning you, hey, don't go down this route. We're like, I'm still going to go down this route. And then we continue to go down it. And then we end up manifesting a sickness or manifesting a situation where it is so 
clear and evident to us that we cannot go down this path any further, that it's time for a pivot and a time for a change. We are all feeling it in some way, shape, or form. So why is it time to open your intuition? Because you want to live your life purpose. And in order to live your life purpose, you need to have your intuition open so that you can follow those feelings, those hunches, those knowings, the signs, the sounds, depending on if you're a seer, owl, empath, or channeler. It is really important for you to listen. Your life purpose is within you. It is not something that you find. It is time to unlock your abilities. And I can see this massive amount of people right now being awakened to their purpose, but their missing link into what that is, is their intuition and their ability to trust the change. The stronger our intuition is and the stronger our connection is with our spirit guides, the more we trust to make a change. And that is when it is so important that we say, you know what, I don't know what the F I'm doing right now, but I know I'm supposed to do it and I'm going to. It always reminds me of the Indiana Jones movie where it's a leap of faith and you got to step out in order for the net to appear. And that's where we are right now. And a lot of times when we're not really talking to our guides, when we're not listening to our intuition, we will feel like we have no direction and nothing on the other side. All we need to focus on right now is that next step forward to live your life purpose. And I do hope you join me inside of Intuition Abundance Academy, where we really dive into your life purpose archetype. So you might be the creator, the entertainer, the teacher, the healer, the humanitarian. Maybe you are another archetype. But once you know your life purpose archetype, it helps you really find your footing to move into your career path, to move into your life purpose. So there's a difference between your purpose and your path. And finally, why is now the time to open your intuition? Because you're here to help the world and people need your help. You are here to step up and out. And when you step up and out and shine your light, it gives other people permission to do the same. I've been saying everyone's feeling this right now, but I should really narrow down onto everyone that is called to listen to this podcast everyone that you could be called a light worker. Basically, you're here to help the planet elevate its vibration. So we talked about the massive energy shift and we experience it personally. But everyone, we're here to help uplift the energy of the planet. And when I say everyone, I mean, if you're listening to this podcast, if you are feeling this call to do something greater than yourself, And it's because we are here to be guides and to be lights for other people who haven't gotten that light bulb moment up yet. And I look at it too, as if you're seeing the planet, the more that we raise our vibration and shift our light, the more on average, it does it for everyone else and it gives them hope. So you're not just doing this for yourself. You're not just doing this for your clients or for other people that you're going to positively impact one-on-one or in groups. You're doing this for the collective. The more that you live your purpose, other people see it's okay to do it for themselves too. You give other people courage. People are looking for role models. They're looking for mentors and not necessarily in the traditional way. So if you want to work with me, sure, I will be that mentor during our time together and be that coach. But I'm talking about sometimes we need to see inspiration in our communities, in our families, where we say, you know, so-and-so did this. Well, if they did it, I can do it too. We need more of the people who trust within themselves. And there's so many children out there that have these abilities and these gifts, and they're naturally geared towards something. And the parents are doing their best, but will guide them perhaps in a wrong direction. It's important that we be these role models, if you will, for other people too. That you're literally here to help the world. So this is not just a selfish place where you're saying, I want to develop my abilities because it's cool. No. And I want to develop my life purpose because I want to have more joy. Well, yes, but it's not just that or you wouldn't be listening to the words coming out of my mouth right now. 
So you're here to really help yourself and help others. Help yourself by understanding the messages, the decisions that you need to make so that you can become into more alignment with purpose and abundance and your intuition. And then therefore will help other people too through your one-on-one contact with them or through your words and group environment. It depends on your life purpose. You might be a creator. So you are a writer. So people can read all the things that you're writing. Maybe you are an actor. And so therefore people can watch you act on screen. Perhaps you are an artist and you are just feeling this push to get your art out so people can see your art, connect with your art, buy your art. And also you are expressing yourself in a way that feels wonderful to you. Depending on your life purpose archetype, you will be affecting people in positive ways and in different ways. But it also helps people who have a similar life purpose archetype have inspiration about their own life too. So if you are a healer, and you've been wanting to help people, and let's say that you don't want to go to medical school, that's okay. You can still be a Reiki practitioner or something else in that healing modality. So it's your time. So as a recap, one, we're going through a massive energy shift. Please do not neglect it. If you neglect it, you are not going to see that wave knocking you over. You want to get your surfboard and ride the wave versus ignoring it and feeling way off balance. You're ready for it. You incarnated for it. This is your time. There's no happenstance or circumstance or guessing. You're here to do this. This is why you decided to incarnate. Three, your life purpose. No more wasting time. It is time to live your purpose. Again, you incarnated to do it. And it's time for you to actually gather it up. It reminds me of people wearing different cloaks and you've got the wrong color or the wrong size or the wrong fit. I need to know my life purpose archetype so I can wear it and therefore make sure I'm on the right path. And you're here to help the world to step up and step out for so many, in so many different ways, shapes, and forms. I'm going to put the link to Enroll in Intuition Abundance Academy in the show notes. We are only opening this program up for a limited amount of time. It is not open throughout the year. So if you feel the call to join, check the show notes, or you can go to messengerofspirit.com forward slash enroll. And if it's not open, you can always join the wait list. And I always open it based on my intuition and when I feel a push from spirit. So I'll be back next Wednesday with a full episode, but also listen on Sundays for our mini spirit Sunday messages to help you set the energy of the week. All right. Until then, here's to staying spiritual and ambitious. Thanks so much for listening to this episode. And if you loved it, would you please share it with a friend? I would also love your review. And a reminder to subscribe so you never miss an episode. You can find me at messengerspirit.com and you can take the four intuitive languages quiz and find show notes there too. If you want to connect on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, you can find me at messenger of spirit. I'll meet you right here next week. Here's to stand spiritual and ambitious. This podcast is part of the Sound Advice FM network. Sound Advice FM, women's voices amplified.